Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rise and Cross reporting in with my top four plus one Battlefield One tips for medics. These tips are simple tips that I think that will help you be a better medic in Battlefield One. So, without further ado, let's get to it. Number one, revive your buddies. All right. So this has been going on for as long as I can remember. Medics need to pick up their buddies. When you see that skull icon over the body of one of your teammates, it is your absolute duty to go over there and revive them. It's what is expected of you. You are a medic. You are the caregiver of the team. It's what it's what everyone is counting on in very evenly matched games that usually end 99 to 100 or even 80 something to 100 usually the difference maker is when one team has active medics that pick up each other and in some cases like you just saw there you can pick someone up they'll avenge your death you get a couple of kills out of it and it's a win-win for everyone in the team so by all means medics if you're in the possession of a syringe pick up your buddies they'll appreciate you for it they'll love you for it they'll squat up with you you might even make some good friends because you are an efficient medic an efficient player overall that's what you portray so by all means, remember, pick up your buddies. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. And in some embarrassing cases like that, you can save them some shots to their pride as well. What you cannot do though is predict how dice screws you over just like that number two provide med packs it's quite simple. When you see that icon over someone's head that's flashing the medic symbol, they're asking you for a med pack. Just drop one for them. You gain points for it. You help them live longer. If they live longer, they'll help you more throughout the battle. You know, again, it's one of the tasks of a medic. It's what you signed up for. When I find people shooting at my teammates, I usually clear out the area, run over to my teammates, and the very first thing I do is I will provide them, even if they may not need it, I will provide them with a med pack. It's just the right medic thing to do. Number 3. Assist your elite class. Okay, I don't have any footage of me assisting an elite class, but I do have a footage of me as a flame trooper and what most medics or most people don't realize is that you don't heal up fast so what I usually end up doing is if someone has the elite class equipped I follow them and I drop down med packs so they can heal better you keep them alive they are a great asset to your team so next time you see an elite class, be sure to assist him. Number four, pick the correct loadout. Please take into consideration when picking out your loadout, the map you're playing on and your gameplay style. For a map that has plenty of opportunities for close quarter combats, I would take something like the auto loading extended 
for a map that's more open and I can afford a slow rate of fire, I would take something like the RSC Optical or the RSC Factory because they pack a punch. If I'm playing on a map that's quite versatile, like you can encounter both worlds, then I would take something like the Mondragon Storm or the M1916, which are guns that are pretty much usable in all those situations. So think about your loadout before you go out into the game. Plus one, take the road less traveled. The plus one tip is a tip that counts for every single class, and that is to take the road less traveled. You will ensure that you will encounter minimal enemies as you flank around them and surprise them. So I'm just going to let this video run so you can see how beneficial this is to you and your team and your gameplay as a whole. Enjoy.